Welcome back, students. I'm Vince Thompson, founder, chairman, CEO of Melt. And this is Chapter 7 of Build Brand You. That's right. We're bringing it to you live to tape as a companion to the book that's now out available at Amazon.com. And don't forget, follow me on social media, at Vinny Inc., at MeltATL, and hit me up on a LinkedIn. I'd love to respond. I'd love to hear from you. Hearing from a lot, a lot of folks just released our 70th podcast, our 20th meltdown. Tremendous response from you guys out in the world. Chapter seven, word of the year for 2021. Be relentless. As we say, the letters N-O, don't spell no, It's the first two letters, excuse me, of not yet. Simply put, in a COVID world and in a post-COVID world, the need state and the changes for organizations have shifted permanently. Will there even be offices to return to? Here's a key word in your search. How can I add value to an organization? How can I add value to that employer? How can I add value to that job opportunity? How do you impress an employer and stay on the radar? We've talked about all of these great tips in the first six chapters, and we're going to reinforce a lot of them today. But key words, relentless, relentlessness, be relentless, N-O, don't take no, value. How do you add value to an organization and how do you articulate that when you're reaching out to a potential employer? As we've talked about, and we're going to talk about a little bit more, this is not a job application. This is a job process. And during COVID and post-COVID, the odds have gotten much greater and much longer. So it's going to be the grind, guys. It's going to be the grind. I'm not going to sugarcoat it here. As I said in the book, Joe Buck says you can't get a job without experience, and you can't get experience until you have a job. Once you solve that problem, pretty simple, right? As we talk about, the college campus is the ultimate professional laboratory. Yes, it's been a little constrained and restricted in this this COVID world. We're going to get to the other side of that, Lord willing. But look all around you and, and follow your passion. Follow your heart. Go find opportunities within that campus that allows you to to gain experience, to gain that practice, to pad that resume, to build that network, to build those relationships, to have a story to sell and tell during this process, during this audition. As I said, the greatest thing that ever happened to me at Auburn, because I didn't test well, I didn't make good grades, uh, but I worked four years at the sports information department. I had a huge portfolio, I had a huge resume, I had a huge set of relationships. And I still continue to parlay them to this day, all my life, all my professional life. And so part of the reason I wrote this book is to enhance your numbers game. I used to say it was a fishing analogy. You had to make 100 casts to get eight job bites to land two interview opportunities. That number probably now is 500 for eight for two. Why is that? Employers are hiring less. The unemployment market and the marketing services is in the millions because our our businesses have been decimated during COVID. And you're going to have a lot of people who are out of work who are willing to take a lesser job for a lesser salary, therefore further compressing the entry-level job market. So you've got to use all of these tips and tricks of of the trade that we've talked about, bringing the heat virtually, using those emotional cues on LinkedIn. Hey, Mr. Thompson, War Eagle not writing uh, a generic resume to a generic uh, job site. You know, those get flushed. How to write that resume with an inverted pyramid. How to be relentless. How to take those emotional cues and mine those opportunities. How to add value to the organization. Um, We've had a tremendous amount of uh, response and feedback from the biggest intern opportunity list there is in the sport marketing industry. Reach out to these contacts. Use my name. Use my Rolodex. Use the fact that you've heard many of them on the podcast. 
Develop virtual mentors, even if you can't develop live mentors right now. We've talked about utilizing that low-hanging fruit, how to get attention. But not only are you do, making an emotional hook, you're, you're showing an, in, an intangible to an employer that you're making it important, that you've done your homework, that you're prepared, you're doing your research, you're making that hook, and you're showing them what type of employee that you would be. That translates into how you add value to an organization. So, um, and again, monitor your social media accounts. How do you position your brand out there? How do you position your passion? It's okay to be authentic, but obviously we've talked about the grandma test. Are you passing it or failing it right now? And again, we've got the top 200 internship opportunities as a great compliment to your book, Build Brand New. We've talked about building your own brand, those steps to secure that job, uncover the future industries, which we have uncovered a lot of during our journey and during our podcast. Building that resume, we say it's the, uh, the billboard test, the interstate test. You've got three to 10 seconds to get um, that employer's attention, uh, the time it takes to pass the billboard on the, inter uh, on the interstate. The things that you need to be doing and not doing in the social media world, world uh, and on LinkedIn, as I'm a huge believer and proponent of LinkedIn. So hope you enjoyed chapter seven. Got one more chapter coming down, and uh, we'll guide it into uh, the holidays. So, uh, Vince Thompson, founder, chairman, CEO of Melt, and author of the new book on Amazon.com, Build Brand You.